Good morning. David's weariness, revealed in 1 Samuel 26 and 27, lead him to have doubts about God's faithfulness, which then lead him to make unwise decisions for himself and those who follow him. It's sad. But we can relate, can't we? When we are weak and weary, we are more prone to doubts and then decisions that don't reflect a trust in God. So today, let's look again to the Word of God for encouragement and instruction. Isaiah 40, 30 and 31. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So everyone gets tired, even youth. Everyone stumbles and falls, even young men. But those of us who hope in the Lord will receive strength when we get tired, when we stumble and fall. The Lord will help us, lift us, and lead us. We will refine find a renewed hope. Um, he likens it to soaring like an eagle. Uh, now, an eagle flies by spreading its large and uniquely designed wings and feathers so that it can soar on the wind currents. I mean, turkeys flap around. Eagles soar. So, don't be a turkey. <laughs> you were destined to fly like an eagle. Eagles learn to spread their wings and soar on the currents of the wind, which can take them up and about for great lengths of time. And the greater the wind, the higher they soar, the faster they soar. And it's almost effortless. It's just they're spreading the wings. And that's likened to our expressing our faith and trusting him that he will get us through whatever challenges, whatever resistance might be coming our way. He will lift us up in those times. Notice he's not saying God's going to spare us through difficulties. He's going to lead us through them so that we soar. We are strengthened. Now, from that analogy in chapter 26, uh, a pursuit will exhaust a partridge who flaps and flaps until it faints. But for an eagle who spreads its wings, it will soar to new heights and escape the pursuit. That's good. And then Hebrews 12, 3. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. Jesus endured such abuse from sinful men, words spoken, hurtful actions taken, and yet in his weakness he persevered in his messianic mission, and died on the cross for our sin. Consider Jesus and how he endured and follow his great example. Psalm 63, it's a psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who seek my life will be destroyed, 
They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God's name will praise him, while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Let's pray. Today, Lord, strengthen us by your Spirit. Help us to soar like eagles, led by you each moment of this day, we pray. Now you continue. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Mornings with Pastor Jim. This podcast is a ministry of Family Church PC. For more information or to contact us, go to familychurchpc.com. Have a blessed day.